If you want to see me create a second look using quad of the month number seven for 2020, then stick around. Hi there, it's Elan, and yes, we are going to do a second look using the quad of the month number seven uh, from the quad of the month series for 2020. And this quad here does include three different brands. So we have Luxie Beauty, we have Touch of Glam Beauty, and we also have Juvia's Place. And uh, I did do one look already using this brown shade in the outer lid and outer uh, V. This one uh, as a, an inner to two thirds of the lid and then this as a glitter topper. And it was really quite pretty. And it really reminded me of the Ultraviolet by Urban Decay. And I, I quite enjoyed it. I will put that look right there. And so this is look number two. And what I'm planning on doing is mostly using the brown again and this bubblegum color. It, that is the name, bubblegum pink. And I think it's going to look pretty good. If I do need to do something extra uh, on the outer lid, I'll probably use uh, the purple. But I think that the brown and the pink, I should be able to complete the look. But you know, you never know until you kind of get into it. So let's do that. Let's get into it. So I'm going to go into the crease, outer lid, and we'll see what, el what else with this one. Uh, probably lower lash line, but let let's just take it one step at a time. And I'm going to go in with a nice fluffy brush from Quo, which is a Canadian brand. And I keep forgetting that I have no mirror with this quad. And I'm fixing that right now. Okay, we're all set. The brush is loaded and let's do this. Oh, and by the way, if you see I have highlighter on my brow and on the inner corner, I did use the highlighter from uh, Makeup Geek, a relatively new edition. I'll put that video right there. Uh, and it is a duochrome highlighter that has a very nice blue shift. And I actually used that one yesterday with just a, a brown and did a full eye look with a full blue, icy blue eye look. It looked really neat. And so given we're using browns, pinks, and purples, I thought blue would look really nice as an accent. And I put them on first thing so that you could differentiate from the other shadows I'm adding on. That is so easy. I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye right away. I mean, this is a one minute or less look with that brown. I always have to remember when I go for the second eye and I reload the brush, there's just going to be more color than the first time I dip in for a couple of reasons. There's already some eyeshadow on the brush and it's picking up the kick up from the first eye. So there has to be a slight difference in the way I pick up the shadow for it to be the same on both sides. It's fine for this brown because it's quite buildable. But sometimes you end up with shadows that are not quite as forgiving. Okay, how even are they looking? Sometimes it's hard to tell with the ring light just because it kind of distorts what I can see even though you can see it quite clearly. Uh, because the ring light is so into my eyes it can affect my perception. I think they're looking pretty even. I'm going to deepen this up just a tad. Okay, I want to go deeper on the outer lid, but this brush is not going to do it for me, so I'm going to take a packer brush. I won't go so crazy. I'm going to go kind of halfway between what I was using and a packer brush. 
And this is the Sephora Small Shadow Brush, very creative name. Now it's just going to give me a little bit more of a density to the color. Go in and just, just pick up the kick up. Let's do a bit of a more pronounced outer V. Yeah, and I'm going to connect that part of the V to below the uh, lash line here. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, I like that very much. I'm going to go now into that pink that I was talking about earlier, and it's called Bubblegum, and it has such a pretty look. It's it's like hot pink and lime green working into it, so I think I will really like that color. And I have used it before, <laughs> but you know, you, with a lot of different shadows, you don't necessarily remember exactly what it looked like, and of course it depends what else you're pairing it with, right? I am going to start off with my multi-tasker uh, brush from Smashbox. I almost called it multi-dimensional. I don't know why. It's kind of kind of chunky. Put some on the brush. I'm probably better off. Oh yeah, very long green. I'm probably better off with the finger with this, but I want to get right into the inner corner first and then build from there. Yeah, that is very green. Oh boy. See what the shift is with the uh, with the finger. It's funny how a, a shadow can look one way in the pan and so, so, so different when it's applied on the eyelid. Yeah, this is definitely more lime green than it is bubblegum pink, but I'm not upset about it because it looks pretty awesome. And I just got a little bit of transfer because my finger touched the lower lash line. I've got most of it cleaned up. Okay, I'm... I'm okay with this. I'm really okay with this. I think the only thing I want to do is I want to go in with the um, a smudger brush. I'll go with this one. And I just want to get more of that brown into the inner uh, lower lid along the lash line. I don't really need a super precise smudger. I think this will work fine. Yeah. I just wanted to get more of that brown since we're going for a little bit edgier than I thought it was going to be, which which is fine. I love lime green, like I said. Okay, I'm good with that. And so let's recreate that uh, deepened outer lid and lime green effect on the other eye. So back to this brush to intensify the brown. We are going to do that pronouncing of the outer V like we did on the other side. And connect the two. And I'm going to go to the smudger just so I don't put too much too far in. I think I'm looking pretty close, I think so.
back with this one and I'm just going to soften up a little bit the outer V. And I want a clean brush. Here is a clean brush and I'm just going to soften this up right here. Okay, and I'm going to go back in with this one because there's a little bit too much that disappeared. And back again with this one. Okay, I won't do any more adjusting until I have the lime green on. And so I'm going to go back to my multitasker brush and pick up some of that bubblegum lime green. And we'll see how it looks on this side. Okay, and now using my finger, it feels really good. It's a really smooth, tacky but smooth shadow. Yeah, that's really nice. I went a little bit further on the other side, so I'm going to keep going. And that's okay. Okay, and just want to go back in with that multitasker brush. I want to go a little bit higher up on each side. It doesn't feel like it went high enough up. And it does help to look down, be able to get the placement just right. Just to make sure it's going up high enough, high enough up in the crease. So I like that side and I'll just replicate it on the other side. There we go. Okay, I'm happier with that. And it is good coverage. It just depends on where I turn my head as far as whether it looks like it's complete or not. And that's just the iridescence of um, the shadow itself. So bubblegum is, is quite transformative. And I do think that it goes well still with the um, Moon Phase highlighter. I, I don't mind the pairing whatsoever. And now I'm at the point where, just looking at my lower lid, and I think it looks okay. This side looks a bit more smoky. So I'm going to go back into this brush and just add a little bit here, just to make sure that they match. And I'm going to take a uh, clean brush and just soften it up a tiny bit. Okay, those look pretty darn close now. All right, so we have most of the look. I have a Becca uh, Topaz and Gilt uh, lip gloss lip topper and I think it picks up the blue from the highlighter quite nicely so I'm going to leave that lip as is and I didn't even know I was going to match my nails today that's kind of nice so I'm going to just do liner probably uh, upper lash line and um, lower water line I already have some in my upper water line and add some mascara, some setting spray, and I will be right back. It is getting so hot in here, I put my hair up so I look a bit different. I uh, Let's just go in almost reverse order. I set my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I really am enjoying this mister, uh, I don't know, since uh, late spring, early summer. I don't know, it's been, it's been my go-to if I haven't been using the um, Urban Decay uh, setting sprays. This is uh, what I've been going to and I've really been enjoying it. 
I did use one mascara today and I just worried about my upper lashes because my lower lashes, I felt like I had already quite a bit of heaviness with the eyeshadow and I've added a liner and I just felt like there was enough going on on the bottom lashes and it seems to be okay. There's a little bit of transfer, as I see here, a little bit of transfer from my upper lashes uh, hitting my lower lashes. So I've got a tiny bit of mascara on the lower lashes, but it's not uh, intentional. And I used the Perversion from Urban Decay, and I do like the wand on this one. It's not too wide, but it's very fluffy. And if you like volume and separation, um, this mascara does a really good job. And I used two liners actually three technically, but two of these Glide On liners. I used zero on my upper waterline, and I used, used Ransom on my lower waterline and lash line, and I think it did a good job of complementing what I have going on on the upper lid. Um, it just it seems to balance out. It's a purple, it balances out the greenish pink, and of course brown is pretty neutral, so that just works in general. Then for my upper uh, lash line, I did use my current favorite, the Fenty Fly Liner, and it is effortless. Again, chose not to do a wing. I've got some uh, clients later today, and I prefer not to do a wing when I have uh, clients coming. If I were going out to a dinner, that would be a different thing, but this is um, the look for today. And as I said, I did not change the lip but I can show you what it is, and it is the Becca Topaz and Gilt. It's a really nice lip topper, and it has a bluish tint to it. Just put a little bit on for you. And it's really quite fetching. I'm really enjoying, I've got um, three of these left, uh, Becca lip gloss lip toppers. I really enjoy them. They're comfortable, they last on the lips quite long, and yeah, I, I like it. Sometimes they get a little stringy, but that usually means I just applied too much. And I've seen that in a couple of my videos where it was getting a little stringy, but overall, from a day-to-day -day perspective, uh, comfortable, looks good, and that's all I care about in a lip gloss. Let me know what you think of this second look with the quad of the month for July. We're just getting toward the end of July. It's probably going to go up early August, but still, let me know what you think of this second look. I always appreciate hearing your feedback. And with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it every single time. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care.